Now, before I get started, I'm going to say one thing, almost like a disclaimer, because you always get these people that are like, oh, it's just a game. It's not that serious. Clean out your ears and open your eyes. 95% of the people that come here know what's up. But for the 5% that are struggling to grasp where they are, I want you to look around for two seconds. OK, we looked around. Cool. You are on a gaming YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about video games, predominantly fighting games. The people that comment on this YouTube channel play games, predominantly fighting games. So that means This does not mean that if I'm ranting about something that I have not touched grass today, it doesn't mean the people commenting are sad and pathetic because they're having a little bit of a bitch about a game. It just means in this particular moment, that's what we are talking about. And I have to bring that up because I see people attacking other people in my comment section saying, I can't believe there are people complaining about a game. Do you guys do nothing else? How stupid do you have to be to comment that to somebody else? If you want to one and done, you're well within your right. You are well within your right. Just understand that if it comes to a conversation of, do you want to be respected as a player? Or You know, if you go over to a Formula One YouTube channel, they're going to be either praising or bitching or reviewing Formula One. If you go over to a video dedicated to golf, they're going to be talking about golf in some manner and probably talking about what Tiger Woods did years ago. And if you go on to a channel about religion, they're probably going to be talking about their religion. Does that mean that all of these people do nothing else in their lives? I would encourage people to blacklist people that do one and done just because they lost. I made a video about this a long time ago. Well, actually, maybe like a month or two ago. And it was about one and done. And it sparked a big conversation. The video was 50-50. It was kind of positive and negative on both sides in terms of comments and the way it was received. But I had a lot of fun making it. But I don't think I made my points as clear as I could have. And now as the channel has grown, I will expand why I hate this one and done situation so much. Let me tell you what really pissed me off today. And I was sitting here and I was like, how dare this motherfucker? I was playing against the Steve player. His name is Blackheart. 59. In the first match, I played against this Tekken God Steve. He might have been Tekken God or Tekken God Supreme, I can't remember. And I beat the piss out of him. And I said, you know what? First game, no problem. You get your run back. I give everyone a run back, unless the connection's absolute dog water. And even then, I don't think I've ever walked away from a rematch. But I gave this guy his rematch because I was like, Feng Wei's another character that you don't see very often. Maybe he just got caught off guard. And you know what? In the second match, it was a bit more closer, but he took it in the end. This guy key charged me at the end. I was like, all right, no problem. We're getting disrespectful that's all good that's all within the confines of the fight i can have a bit of banter in the game no problem what does this guy do he exits and this is where i really have a problem sick in the mind
Now there are three kinds of one and doneers. I'm gonna get back to this guy in a little bit because this is the most egregious kind of one and done. There are the one and doneers who lose and don't want to fight you again. I don't like these kinds of people, but they don't have to rematch me. We've already had the one match. If they feel like I battered them within an inch of their life that they can't even play again, then get on your bike and start pedaling. I think it's kind of lame, especially when you're a God of Destruction ranked player, which I actually had to deal with today. It was a pool player. He was battering me for the first two rounds, and then I managed to come back and I took the game. And I was quite happy with that because he's God of Destruction pool. Pool just recently got buffed. Pool is pretty ridiculous right now, and not a lot of people are familiar with him and his new tricks. So it was kind of cool to beat him. I thought, I want to run it back. Let me see if I can do it again. He didn't want to run it back. No problem. These one and done as I have less of a problem with. I already got my points. You want to get on your bike and start pedaling? Pedal on out of here. I would encourage people to blacklist people that do one and done just because they lost. You get the one and doneers who beat you in a game and more often than not this game will be very very close and it's like they know they got away with murder and they leave and you're sitting there and you like you bitch made mother trucker and this is where my problem with one and done is stuck now the reoccurring comment that i get with these kind of one and doneers is these people don't owe me a rematch and you are 100 percent absolutely right they owe me nothing this vitriol that i have is targeted at michael murray harada and the tekken team the reason that i don't like one and dones is because they are fakes people that do one and dones are fakes they are fakes they are tryhards those are the actual tryhards they're the ones that want to appear like they're actually sick of the game when they're shit. If you want to one and done, you're well within your right. You are well within your right. Just understand that if it comes to a conversation of Do you want to be respected as a player? Or you have a ranked mode, not casual mode. Why are you not locking these wet blankets into at least best out of three it should be more than that but if you're not going to give us more why are you not locking them in it should be a requirement to finish the set before you get your points your ranked is fraudulent you have a bunch of frail tekken gods masquerading around like they've done some shit Tekken is meant to be the most complex, the most nuanced, the most hard to adapt to and you're telling people it's okay to leave after one game. Are you shitting me? Where is the logic in that? It was a pool player. He was battering me for the first two rounds and then I managed to come back and I took the game and I was quite happy with that. Obviously, for the most part, guys, I'm messing about here. For those of you that made it this far into the video and haven't gone into comment section going, oh, this guy's so sad. I'm having a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke, because I haven't been able to get around to my other video. No, nobody, nobody believes you. But if I'm being completely honest, this shit is hella annoying. It's so annoying. I'm hard stuck at Tekken Emperor because this keeps happening. I've taken about 17 pictures of this happening in one day. I couldn't believe it. I'll put some of them up on the screen for you guys to see. Constant one and done is one and done, one and done. So it was kind of cool to beat him. I thought, I want to run it back. Let me see if I can do it again. He didn't want to run it back. No problem. These one and done as I have less of a problem with. I already got my points. You want to get on your back and start pedaling? Pedal on out of here. I would encourage people to blacklist people that do one and done just because they lost. Now I've read your comments. I've seen what you guys have said. Nobody owes you a rematch. And you are 100% right. I agree with you. They don't owe me a rematch. The person that owes me something is Harada. And he owes me an explanation and he owes everybody else an explanation who agrees with me. Why the hell would you make the most difficult fighting game on the market, the one that takes the longest to adapt to, the one that has the most characters with the most moves, with all of these stages that you interact differently with, with all of these playstyles that you have to wrap your head around with?
with this hyper aggressive gameplay with a system that locks you in place have you guys ever thought of Shao Yu and she does her heat burst on you or whatever it's called and then you're stuck there I actually tested it out she has a series of attacks that you cannot do anything against the string will end and it's still her turn I sat there literally mashing rage up nothing that was okay let me try grab nothing mashing jab nothing so you make this game where I'm like okay cool the game's aggressive the game's got heat I just have to learn how to deal with it and you know that your most popular mode is going to be ranked you know that's where it's going to be the most populated so that's where people are going to be spending the most time and you make it so people can leave after one game when you have designed characters like Xiao Yu are you joking me? The only logical explanation that I can think of was you wanted to bring in the casual market, you wanted to get the early buys and then when people thin out and it's just the more intermediate to hardcore players then you're going to announce death matches as paid DLC. That's the nightmare scenario that I'm envisioning right now. Death matches via paid DLC and because it's my most requested feature I would probably purchase it. But I don't think I made my points as clear as I could have. I would encourage people to blacklist people that do one and done just because they lost.